Erlang Shen marks the intense climax of the Erlang battle, kicking off automatically once you conquer the four heavenly kings in the earlier stage. At this juncture, Erlang re-enters the battle, revealing his true form to match your colossal stone monkey appearance. The stakes are higher here compared to the fight with the four heavenly kings, as Erlang Shen delivers significantly more powerful blows and can keep you in a stun lock if you forget to dodge. However, the fight itself is relatively simple. Focus on unleashing as many attacks as you can, utilize rock solid to counter his strikes, and don't forget to heal yourself with heavy attacks. Midway through the encounter, a scripted event will occur where Erlang Shen unleashes a fiery breath that will deplete your health, but don't lose your cool, because following this cutscene, you'll miraculously regain all your health, and from that moment on, your attacks will inflict even greater damage. So if you reach this point, Erlang's defeat is imminent. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games.
I hear tell this Yaogua is I rank a thousandfold about that king. As his sire he reveres me, and like a deity he serves me. How dare you think I'm his slave? slave. Kindly chant the loosening spell and release Dr. Thagata, so that you can take back my head back. And I can be free. The court That Yaogua said he knew this somewhat. Surely he is no mere mortal. We must be somebody from the court. Great. The journey ends here. The desire is wide to bring open. it. Watch me rip it off. And break free! The wind is his. My brothers tested you at my behest. All oh, for this day. And only now do I understand that fight. No prestige can shackle him. No band can keep him caged. A mortal death for an unbound mind and will. May you not fail him. I'm now at peace. Your journey, though, has just begun. Say, what's to come of destiny if he steps out of that mural? <laughs> I make a living by reading what was written. The signs alone tell what's to come. What's to come is what's not yet written. No one can read what's not written. Destiny is written in what's done. What's done shapes what's to come, not escape. <laughs> it's all written for me, if only I uncover all that occurred. So? Hmm? There really is something even you cannot read. <laughs> That's good. Very good. 